Okay, so here's how you can check if you properly configured a domain for email sending. So let's do a test one. Let's do a good example of what it's supposed to look like. Let's do zoominfo.com. We check here. We're not seeing any errors, which is what we're looking for. We only see two warnings. You don't need to worry about these. This is very common. This is nothing to configure. Scroll down, not on any blacklists as well. That's an issue if you're not careful. We can see they're using this software for their email sending. They have their DMARC record properly configured. So we can see that they have set their DMARC quarantine reject policy. This is a big issue that companies normally don't do is they simply set up the DMARC record, but they don't actually enable the policy. Their STMP looks fine. Their SBF looks fine. They're sending only from one SBF record, which is key, and they are hosting on Cloudflare. So no issues here. It's all green except two warnings. Now let me show you an example of one that you don't want to do. So in this case, if we go back to email health and just click right here, is we can go to tldv.io. So tldv.io. There we go. Let's search it. So no big issues, but there is one issue that is important to address. The DMARC quarantine policy is not enabled. So what that means is they did not enable their DMARC policy, so it essentially makes it invalid in a sense. So that will lower your deliverability there. And you can see it's a warning. The rest of these warnings you don't have to worry about. We're just looking for DMARC SPF warnings. Those are the biggest ones. And you can see it's right here. So they need to address that and set their DMARC policy so it's properly configured to reject. Now let's take another domain where nothing is configured. So we can do config sales.net. Okay. So if we check that here, we can see it does not have an MX, does not have a DMARC, does not have an SPF or DNS. If you're getting any of these red errors, this means you need to fix it. So yeah, that's how you check if you properly configured your domains.